ਐਸ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਸਾਰੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਪਿਆਰ ਭਰੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਮੁੱਦਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਹੋਸਟ ਆਸ਼ਮਿਤਾ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੇਰਾ ਫੇਵਰਿਟ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਕਰਨ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਪੋਲਿਟਿਕਸ ਇੱਥੇ ਦੇ ਜੋ ਪੋਲਿਟੀਕਲ ਸਿਸਟਮਸ ਹਨ ਸਾਡੇ ਇਲੈਕਟਿਡ ਅਫੀਸ਼ੀਅਲਸ ਹਨ ਐਂਡ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਜੋ ਲੈਜਿਸਲੇਟਿਵ ਕੁਝ ਕੀ ਪੀਸਸ ਆਫ ਲੈਜਿਸਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈਗੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਆਮ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਸਿਰਫ ਇਨ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਤੇ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਮਿਲ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਬਟ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਥੇ ਦੇ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਇਨਵੋਲਵ ਹੋਣਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਾਰਟਿਸਿਪੇਟ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਸਾਡੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੀ ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਇੱਥੇ ਦੇ ਟੇਬਲ ਤੇ ਉਹਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਵਨਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਆਮ ਵੈਰੀ ਐਕਸਾਈਟਿਡ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਤੇ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਗੈਸਟ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਅੱਜ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਹੋਇਆ ਇਸ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਹਰ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਸਟੇਟ ਹੈ ਜਿਹਦਾ ਯੂ نو ਉਭਰ ਕੇ ਨਾ ਅੱਗੇ ਆਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਨਾਰਮਲੀ ਇਸ ਸਟੇਟ ਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਦੇ ਪੂਰੇ ਮੈਪ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਟ ਹਰ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਸਟੇਟ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਾਇਨੇ ਰੱਖਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਸਵਿੰਗ ਸਟੇਟ ਵੀ ਕਿਹਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਅਕਸਰ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਵੀ um presidential candidate is state nu jit janda hai most likely o presidency jit jande hai i am talking about none other than the great state of michigan so mainu aaj bahut hi khushi ho rahi hai ki michigan to state representative ranjeev puri sad nal jude han sab to pehle representative puri tode program de vich swagat sat sri akal ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਅਸ਼ਮੀਤਾ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜਸ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਫਾਰ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਮੀ ਬਿਗ ਫੈਨ ਆਫ ਯੂਰ ਸ਼ੋ ਐਂਡ ਯੂਰ ਵਰਕ ਐਂਡ ਇਟਸ ਆਨਰ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਹੀਅਰ ਵਿਥ ਯੂ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਰਿੰਜੀ ਪੂਰੀ ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟੇਟਿਵ ਪੂਰੀ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਸੋ ਗੁੱਡ ਟੂ ਮੀਟ ਯੂ ਰੀਸੈਂਟਲੀ ਇਨ ਮਿਸ਼ੀਗਨ ਜਦੋਂ ਸਾਡੀ ਟੀਮ ਖੇਡ ਮਿਲੇ ਤੇ ਪਹੁੰਚੀ ਸੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਸੀ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਥਿੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਸਰਪ੍ਰਾਈਜ਼ ਮੀ ਦ ਮੋਸਟ ਵਾਸ ਹਾਊ ਗੁੱਡ ਯੂਰ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਇਸ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਸਿੱਖ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਇਲੈਕਟਿਡ ਟੂ ਮਿਸ਼ੀਗਨਸ ਸਟੇਟ ਅਸੈਂਬਲੀ ਅ ਹਿਊਜ ਆਨਰ ਫਾਰ ਆਰ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ I'm sure for you as well. Um sab to pehle representative puri tell us about getting to this level. Is mukam tak tu si pahunche ho? Um you're an inspiration for our younger generation looking to break into the political scene here. Even at the state level it's such a huge accomplishment. Um how was it getting the the state representation in your district? Uh it it, it means a lot to me. You know, I know that uh, our victory um uh, a couple months ago uh represented more uh than just just myself uh it was a big step forward for our community um unfortunately you know our community's voice uh is is still uh needs to grow in the political arena um and you know i know you and i have discussed multiple times on how we can do that and 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 what needs to happen um so i'm hoping that uh that the my victory can be a beacon for our community to know that uh that we do have a voice politically uh, that it's time to get engaged and hopefully inspire others to pursue uh, civic engagement as well. Absolutely. And when it comes to inspiring change, I mean, I have to mention um before you got officially uh, slated for this position, you've spent time working for former President Barack Obama. Tell us about those years. Hanji, you know, I got started with uh, Obama when I was uh spending some time out in Chicago in 2008. Um then I, uh I and it completely changed uh, the way that uh, I view the world. Um it was very inspirational. uh to 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 work for him i continued on in 2012 um and had a very impactful moment um you know a, a little bit about me briefly uh my parents did immigrate from punjab nearly 50 years ago and they settled in uh in wisconsin um and so they're very close uh to our our community in the wisconsin area and if everyone can remember in 2012 um was the year of the unfortunate um shooting at the oak creek gurdwara um and so um being from wisconsin having uh, the ability to talk to the president firsthand about that experience uh, really helped shaped uh, how i knew that i needed to expand my platform um and and that our community needed a larger voice and that's really what did propel me to you know kind of pursue pursue this as when we move back to michigan
um, something that this country desperately needs and something that the Rust Belt, um, your state, Jatotusiano, Michigan, and even Wisconsin and all those uh, states that are neighboring to you understand this probably better than the entire rest of the country. But today, infrastructure is probably the biggest need um, for Americans. Uh, so this is President Biden's landmark legislation. Um, you know, I, I, there's some critical deadlines that uh, they're looking to meet um, by the end of this month, early October. Um, specifically talking about Michigan or even your district, um, what kind of provisions do you feel uh, are essential that the bill must have um, to adequately address infrastructure needs today? Yeah, I think this is a, a great question. You know, the, this bill, this landmark legislation, as you put it, uh, and this money is, is desperately needed. Um, I don't think that uh, kind of my local constituency is really any different than just the systemic problems that we are facing infrastructure-wise uh, across the great state of Michigan or across, across this country. Um, you know, just to um, qualify, you know, again, I, I am at the state level in Michigan, so I unfortunately don't have the ability to vote on this, yeah. this federal package, but, but nonetheless, I'm, I'm watching um, with excitement just as much as everyone else as to see how this plays out. Uh, but this package um, includes a, a great deal of money, which will help, uh, again, Americans all over the country um, with, with infrastructure. And that's um, something that should ascend party lines. Um, you know, fixing our crumbling infrastructure should not be a, a problem for just Democrats or Republicans. This is something that would benefit all of us. Um, and, you know, it's something that we're unfortunately all too familiar with here in, in Michigan. Um, infrastructure improvement uh, is a, a priority for us. Um, our, our roads are, are falling apart. But, you know, I, I think it's also uh, important to realize that infrastructure now doesn't just mean the roads. It, it means including our, our bridges, uh, updating our water pipes. So there's, you know, not incidents like like Flint, uh, Michigan, yes, um, which yes. many of you are, are familiar with, or, or expanding broadband internet access. <clears throat> so it's time for our country to continue to modernize so we can compete for the jobs and the economy of tomorrow. Speaking of jobs, uh, Rep. Puri, I have to ask, you know, in your district, um, how is the uh, job scene looking? Governor uh, Whitmer just gave a recent statement about the steady unemployment numbers in uh, the decline in unemployment numbers in Michigan. Um, how does that translate into your district? Deco, you know, I think it's been <clears throat> it's been very, very difficult for for all 50 states in the last 18 months. Uh, this is, you know, not uh, the last 18 months didn't go how any of us thought it was how thought it was going to go, and it's 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 been hard. Um, I can say though that uh, that Michigan is rebounding very well. Um, our unemployment numbers have dropped for nine straight months. Our GDP um, is is growing rapidly. We are outperforming all of our neighboring states. Um, and so Michigan is, is in a great position to continue to, to rebound. Um, obviously, there's a lot of factors out there, you know, such as COVID um, and, and, and other externalities just to, that, that, that we need to continue to stay focused on, on turning the corner from this terrible virus um, and continuing, again, to just to, to focus on our economy, to focus on working families and to make sure that we're recovering um, for, for all of us. I'm so glad you brought up COVID, uh, Representative Puri, because that is exactly where I was taking this conversation next. It is a little break. Representative Ranjeev Puri from Michigan joining us. Please, Sardinal Estran Jurido. Viewers, to see you, Estran Jurido, it's a little break to bad conversation. Jai Regi, Mildea, break to spar. American politics, the but it um it area the jo is country the rust belt manni jandi hai um othe blue collar da prabhav hai ga te jado is country de vich uh, political agenda di gal aandi hai michigan is often at the forefront so it's my pleasure to welcome back to the program joining us state representative from the great state of michigan representing district 21 representative ranjeev puri uh, sab to pehle representative puri welcome back to the program so good to have you i'm glad ki tu sadnal is exclusive inter 
ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੁੜ ਕੇ ਕੁਝ ਕੀ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਜੋ ਮਿਸ਼ੀਗਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਡਿਵੈਲਪ ਹੋ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਉਹਦੀ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਵਿਊਅਰਸ ਤੱਕ ਪਹੁੰਚਾ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਰੀਅਲੀ ਅਪਰੀਸ਼ੀਏਟ ਯਰ ਟਾਈਮ ਔਨ ਥਿਸ ਬਿਜ਼ੀ ਥਰਸਡੇ ਅਮ ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟੇਟਿਵ ਪੂਰੀ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮਿਸ਼ੀਗਨ ਦੇ ਕੁਝ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਚੈਲੰਜਸ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਕੋਵਿਡ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਚੈਲੰਜ ਫॉर ਦੀ ਇੰਟਾਇਰ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਐਟ ਥਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਡੈਲਟਾ ਵੈਰੀਅੰਟ ਅ ਸਕੂਲਸ ਖੁੱਲ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਐ ਅਮ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਸਕੂਲਸ ਹੈਵ ਮੂਵਡ ਅਵੇ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਰਿਮੋਟ ਲਰਨਿੰਗ ਅਮ ਇਨ ਪਰਸਨ ਕਲਾਸਸ ਆਰ ਸਟਾਰਟਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਹੈਵ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਐਂਡ ਮਿਸ਼ੀਗਨ ਹੈਜ਼ ਰੀਸੈਂਟਲੀ ਪਾਸਡ ਯੂਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਦੀ ਰਿਪਬਲਿਕਨ ਦੀ ਰਿਪਬਲਿਕਨ ਲੈਡ ਲੈਜਿਸਲੇਚਰ ਹੈਜ਼ ਪਾਸਡ a ban on mask mandates right um so there's a couple of headlines that we uh, came across uh, regarding this ban um you know tell us about this uh, how are you going to be navigating this uh, in the state house yes you know thank you for bringing this up um you know michigan unfortunately uh, like many states uh, throughout our country is going through some very tough partisan debates um and i think what we must always remember is that without question our priority has to be to keep our kids safe um and our and our teachers safe and healthy and listen mere apne bhi do bachche hai the you know menu saran di mushkil ta pata i know how hard it is uh to see our kids um struggle with uh, having to go to school in this very different environment um our younger one uh was born right before covid and oh you know his life has been turned upside down unfortunately of of thinking that just normalcy is sitting at home um during a pandemic and so nice. you know we, we again we we must prioritize uh making sure that that everyone is safe and healthy um and if we can all take ourselves back um to before the time the vaccine came out uh you know the best defenses uh for this virus were to wear masks wash our hands socially distance and continue to follow those cdc guidelines and and the guidelines of health experts um and so in a student population um of which many students are still not vaccinated because they are too young you you have to be 12 or older uh currently to be able to get the vaccine right. and so in a population of students that are not vaccinated it is still really important to follow those same guidelines and the best defense that we know is to wear a mask is to wash your hands is to socially distance um and so I think everyone can agree that we want to return to normal um that in person learning is is what best for most students um and that we want to avoid closing any schools um and and, and moving to remote learning and so um you know again these these topics should not be partisan what we should be doing is following the CDC and health experts and knowing that that masks are our our best defense um and 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 we need to continue to pass the time and limit the severity of of this virus until everyone um who's eligible for a vaccine can get vaccinated absolutely and you know once again the mask debate um you know you, as someone who is representing um not just your district um you know you represent our community you have a, a insider's view on um the, the political sphere the political scene that plays out in these state houses um is the debate within these chambers within behind these closed doors is it really as politicized as it seems in public i mean masks you know why are they such a political issue i mean even in you know the early 1900s when the spanish flu outbreak happened uh, you know there's historical pictures of folks wearing masks in like 1918 so why today um in 2021 is this something that we are still debating um the the science behind the validity of its efficiency what kind of conversations do you see around or hear around uh, masks and the vaccine behind closed doors you know i i i think um and unfortunately sometimes um you know respected media outlets uh can can dr- dramatize uh situations to be a little worse than they are um but this mass situation unfortunately is 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 very real um i think there's just a tremendous amount of misinformation um in today's environment of of how people are consuming their their news whether it be through social media or or talking to their friends who may be misguided uh, unfortunately there's a lot of misinformation out there and i'm fully cognizant that there are very very unique scenarios in which someone may not be able to get vaccinated or may not be able to wear a mask but the overwhelming majority of people um 
you know, should be able to wear a mask and if you're eligible should be able to get vaccinated. And we need to ensure that everyone is uh, following those guidelines. You know, I, I think if I had all the answers into why, um, you know, it's, 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 it's become so difficult. Um, you know, we, we could solve a lot of the world's problems. Um, but uh, unfortunately, I, you know, from the conversations I do have um, in, in my circles is I, I can tell that there's a lot of misinformation out there. People um, just unfortunately aren't getting the right facts and, and realizing um, what, what the vaccine and, and mask wearing does. Um, and, and when they come to that realization, unfortunately, at times it's too late when they're in the hospital on their deathbed. Right. And so we need to do whatever we can to keep our kids and society safe. And that is, again, just I sound like a broken record, but just listening to our health experts and, and doing what is right. Uh, you know, um, Representative Puri, um, once again on this channel, we've been advocating uh, that folks get vaccinated, they follow safety protocol from day one of this pandemic. And so has uh, your governor, Governor Gretchen Whitmer in Michigan, um, has been following CDC guidelines and recommendations in imposing some of um, the mandates and the restrictions uh, in the state uh, for COVID safety, um, but has come under fire. I mean, uh, you know, she has really seen a lot of backlash oddly um, for trying to keep folks safe in Michigan um, and, and now you know uh, with the, uh, the, the 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 list of competitors growing um, that are competing for governor for Michigan um, we have a new face that's joining this race right um, so I want to talk about this shifting gears a little bit uh, former Detroit police chief James Craig has officially launched his campaign uh, for governor of Michigan. Uh, now, this is someone, yes, he's a new face, but he has been uh, doing an exploratory committee. Um, what's the sentiment around uh, police chief James Craig? Uh, is there anything that uh, Governor Whitmer um, needs to be concerned about? Uh, I'm glad you brought this up. I guess, uh, you know, just to your early part about talking with the governor, we can unpack that first. Um, yes, you know, yes. I, I think our governor is doing uh, a great job. She's yes. extremely popular here in Michigan. I had the opportunity to get practice with her earlier this week, and I, I met her yesterday, um, and we've had some of these conversations. And so um, she's going to be very tough to beat. Um, you know, I follow uh, the campaign um, uh, campaigns here for the Michigan Democratic House Party. Um, and so I'm, you know, and, and I'm seeing the numbers. And, you know, uh, again, our, I, I think I spoke to this a little earlier in the program today. Our unemployment numbers here in Michigan have fallen for nine straight months. Our GDP is doing really well. We are outperforming um, many states in, in those metrics. And so, but, but as we talk about campaigns, I just want to make sure that we are prioritizing that it's, it's always, the priority is always to take care of Michiganders, right? The political posturing is, is always going to happen, and it seems to have already started on the other side. But there's a long way to go between now and, and next year's uh, election. And so the first step um, is, uh, is the Republican primary. And so I, I did see that Chief Craig launched his campaign um, earlier this week, um, and, and I, I'm not up to date, but I think that there's a couple other people who are also interested. Um, and so the first step is, is to win that primary. Yes. Um, and that is a long and tenuous battle. Um, I can speaking, you know, firsthand, uh, campaigns are not easy. Um, and so again, there's a lot of time uh, until next year's elections. Um, and so, you know, we will let the Republican Party sort out their primary, and which is here in August in Michigan. Um, and then the winner of that nomination will then go on to the general election. Um, but uh, but our governor is doing a great job here. It's it's very hard to govern in the middle of a pandemic, um, you know, and there's not really a, a blueprint or formula to how to do that. But I think she did a great job overall navigating that, uh, that turbulent and this time. Comes despite the fact that there was this extremely elaborate and disturbing plot to kidnap her. Um, for those that don't know, I covered how this story was before the break. Hui si, kush pehle, but Governor Gretchen Whitmer of Michigan um, was essentially rescued by law enforcement doing their job, um, uh, who un unfoiled a plot to kidnap her. I mean, what kind of bizarre, uh, you know, what, what kind of depraved sentiment leads to this kind of a plot um, you don't hear often about you know elected officials at that high level um, you know uh, being kidnapped or these kind of things coming up is there anything 
special about Governor Whitmer or Michigan that this unfolded the way it did? Hanji, you know, so this is a, a really important topic here in Michigan. You know, I think Sara Nupada, what happened on January 6th in our country, um, unfortunately, it was a very embarrassing day for our country to, to see the insurrection of the of uh, of our U.S. Capitol. Um, we had a very similar incident in, in April the year before um, here in Michigan. Uh, a lot of experts say that Michigan was kind of a training ground for that January 6th. Um, and so uh, a part of the plot uh, was to essentially take over our Michigan State House and then kid kidnap the governor. Um, and so we had um, just a, a tremendous and turbulent time. I was not in Lansing um, that day, um, but it was a extremely, uh, just extremely, extremely terrible and sad day for, for our, our great state. And, um, you know, it, that, that sentiment unfortunately exists. Um, you know, even in my own campaign, um, we suffered quite a bit of backlash uh, and, 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 and racial tension. Um, and so that's unfortunately part of the political uh, environment currently, uh, but it has no place in our politics. Um, everyone is, is, is serving to do what's best uh, for the state of Michigan um, and, and Michiganders, uh, regardless of their, their faith, their background or belief. Um, and so you, we, we need to find ways to come together um, and, and uh, especially after such a terrible uh, past 18 months that we've had. It has been a rough 18 months, but it seems like things are, um, you know, improving, um, turning around for the better. There's a couple of things that um, we discussed in this segment, the difficulty of running a campaign. Um, and I kind of want to touch upon that because you have relaunched your campaign uh, as state representative. I want to talk about that. We're going to stop for a quick break here. Please stay with us. Viewers, this will be Sadna Sajirio said, Conversation. Jayade, you break those spots. Break the balik by face. Sarada Swaga to see Vakrio program Ajda Mudda te Galhori Kuch Ahem issues the um, Jo Michigan State the which politically play out Hore. And of course, who better to walk us through all of these updates than State Representative Ranjeev Puri joining us from Michigan? Ikbari Fair, Representative Puri Tora program the which Swagat Kadea. Um, what a great conversation we're having. So many things that are um, Pame Asi Michigan the Gal Karem, but these are issues that are affecting the entire country. Pame in infrastructure, COVID, um, the January 6th insurrection. There's another rally that's scheduled for this Sunday in D.C., justice for January 6th. Um, and, you know, it's going to be an interesting rally. Let's see how that plays out. Hopefully there is no violence. Um, but, uh, you know, th there's one thing um, uh, that I want to discuss. Of course, your campaign, you have relaunched it. You have some great events. But before we talk about that, we're going to talk about this later in the program. We're going to be continuing to talk about this later in the program. But Michigan is um, kind of a... a um, a change maker in this regard, right? So census to baad, the viewers nu baat dasya ki redistricting hoon jari hai, redistricting, um, you know, jithe uh, ik toada geographical map hunda, ik toada political map hunda, and redistricting changes your political map and who represents you. Um, and uh, aksar, unfortunately, wo change um, politicians nu benefit karan le hunda, na ke communities nu, and it's known as gerrymandering, right? Um, but is cheez te uh, loki ik kisam di rok la, Citizens are trying to take back um, the control of where their political boundaries are drawn. And Michigan is a leader in this. One of the first states um, to do this, Michigan is uh, getting a set to um, enact, uh, to, to put into play its first ever citizen redistricting commission. Uh, the Michigan Independent Citizens Redistricting Commission, um, you know, is, is working hard. They're already, um, you know, going over how to redraw some of these lines to see the redistricting they which coffee closely involved though um, so first tell us what is your involvement with the redistricting efforts in Michigan yes it's going to uh, as you eloquently put it it's going to affect uh, every district um, in Michigan you know Michigan uh, state house to Ixo Dasi Tagia they all 110 of them are going to be redrawn um, and are going to look the shape of them are going to look very different uh, Michigan um, historically um, has been the, the, the way to draw these maps um, has been controlled by the controlling party in the legislature. Um, and so for the last few decades, that's been the Republican Party here. Uh, but um, what this 2018 
uh, new law change did is it took the power out of the, the politicians to draw this and put it in the hands of the voters. And so now there's an independent commission uh, made up of four Democrats, uh, four um, Republicans, and five independents. And these 13 people will draw uh, new boundaries that will affect every state house, state senate, and congressional seat in, in Michigan. This is a big, big, big undertaking, um, and it's very important uh, to start eliminating the gerrymandering that has plagued our state for decades. Um, Ranjeev Puri, one of the things that has come up about this um, is that, you know, th this, this citizen-led um, redistricting commission, um, they don't have any obligation to follow uh, current county lines, but they are getting requests, please keep the county lines intact, right? Um, so in terms of, uh, you know, what benefits communities most, um, how should the commission approach the county line issue? So there is actually a list of criteria that this commission must follow. Um, and so above county lines is actually a concept of community of interest. So Asite Canton and and in Canton, the, the Asian, South Asian population is very large. Um, and so there is actually a priority to keep Canton together so that the South Asian population here can vote together. Okay. Um, and so there's a movement called Keep Canton Whole. Um, and that is, again, to make sure that 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 smaller uh, minority communities, that the voice is, is strong for those communities and not divided. Um, and so there's a long list of criteria that uh, the commission must follow in order to make sure that these districts now are fair um, and that all community, all communities can have a stronger voice um, politically. Wonderful. Um, once again, I think it's such a great initiative, um, the citizen-led redistricting commission. If only we could do something similar in New York, but uh, unfortunately not this time around. Um, but in any case, it, it's so good to hear that Michigan is, is a change maker, a leader in this regard. Um, we'll be closely following how this plays out, and we wish the best of luck um, to those 13 lucky individuals. Um, so now, talking about some fun things, uh, just another program the shurwat de vich bhi kya si um to see bahut community de nal connected or you're very locally involved in community programs and na ke jo um bakiyan de program hunde but you do a ton of stuff yourself you have a really exciting program coming up the bollywood bash it is tomorrow so tell us about this event we are very excited uh, thank you for for bringing this up. So you know, I think Michigan, to, unfortunately, those um, Salabad, we have to run for election. We only have a, a limit of three terms, um, and so it all moves kind of fast. And even though uh, maybe election, you know, officially in November to see, I already have to get started focusing for our, our next election, yeah. um, given how it's it's set up here. Um, and so this is one of our first events for our re-election. Um, as you mentioned, I'm extremely proud of our community, um, and I will always want to find ways to showcase um, the, the beautiful culture uh, that we have and showcase it with our broader community. And so um, we, you know, our team came up with this idea. Um, so it's our first ever Bollywood Bash, um, and it's uh, going over extremely well. We've actually sold out of tickets. Oh, um, wow. we've, we're, we're trying to expand capacity wow. uh, to bring in more people. Um, and so we're very excited. It's going to be a great day. The weather looks like it's going to be great. And so if you're locally available, we'd love to have you stop by. I, I just want to quickly highlight, we have Congresswoman Debbie Dinkle, who will be a special guest as well. Um, so, you know, for folks that don't know, you know, she's been really um, vocal about a lot of key issues um, that matter to citizens, to Americans, um, often appearing on, you know, uh, big Prime, uh, mainstream media outlets. Um, so is this folks' chance to kind of uh, meet with uh, Congresswoman uh, Dinkle? Uh, you know, uh, give us some, some inside scoop here. Absolutely. It's going to be a party. It's going to be a lot of fun, uh, very casual. And so the, the Congresswoman will be there along with uh, close to 15 or 20 other elected officials. Um, and so it'll, it'll be a great event. Um, part of Something that's that, that's a passion of mine is continuing to uh, uh, lift the dialogue uh, between our community and elected officials um, to make sure that uh, you know everyone knows that uh, our community is around and to, to get our community further engaged civically to make sure we're voting in the next election um, and to make sure that again that we are are lifting our voice uh, politically. Um, uh 
Representative Puri, you really hit the nail on the head, and I think there's no better message to close out um, our interview today. Uh, just to to see, uh, you know, there's going to be a congresswoman present. Obviously, you are hosting the event. Um, up to 15 uh, other elected officials will be there, and our community has a chance to interact with these folks. That is so, so important, um, these one-on-one -on -one interactions. Thank you so much for putting this event together. We hope you have a fantastic event. Um, good luck in all of your upcoming um, initiatives and the campaign. Um, any closing words for our viewers? No, I, I just, again, wanted to just uh, say thank you for, for having me. It's an honor to be here. Um, just want to reiterate that our community, that's very important to start getting civically engaged. If you're not, uh, make sure you're voting in your upcoming election. And uh, it's an honor to be here with you. Thank you so much, Representative Ranjeev Puri, representing District 21 of the great state of Michigan. Such a pleasure to have you. We will be in touch. Have a good rest of your evening, Representative Puri. Satsrikal. Satsrikal. Viewers, I'm going to redistrict the Gal Hori, so I have some more information. This is the first time I'm going to share with you, especially in New York. I'm going to meet you in the next एक बार फिर सारे दा स्वागत तुसी वेख रहे हो प्रोग्राम आज दा मुद्दा ते गल हो रही है इथे दे कुछ अमेरिकन पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम दी इंपॉर्टेंट अपडेट्स नु लेके जिस तरह मिशिगन बारे काफी इन डेप्थ तो आए नाल जानकारी शेयर कीती स्टेट रिप्रेजेंटेटिव रंजीव पूरी सारे नाल जुड़े सी um, one of the last things that we discussed, which is Michigan, a uh, new initiative that they launched in 2018, a law that was passed in the redistricting of the land, which is what we discussed. There is a geographical map, a political map. Uh, so, redistricting is a census that is going to be redrawn. a political map redrawn. And Michigan has chosen that instead, which is the elected officials who control rolling party hai ki state legislature de which o redraw karegi map instead of them because of course othe bias ho sakda hai uh, independent commission uh, jari kiti jaogi ki citizens is uh, redistricting the map nu draw karenge um, so Mich michigan just na tonu pehle dasse si has uh, begun work through the michigan independent citizens redistricting commission um, to redraw some of these important boundaries in the state um, but, uh, you know, Jitin Michigan, Galandi, of course, Sarda Apna Bias, we're from New York, and New York is also beginning this very, very important work. Ete, Jitin Sardi community, the Inni Ginti, I cast in New York City, the Kuch Boroughs, the which redistricting, sadly, both he mine rak diye, Sardi representation, the both mine rak diye, cast karke Jitin pockets baniya huya, Ete jada Sikh rende, Ete jada Muslim, Ete jada Bengali, what have you. Uh, so, New York, the redistricting, no lake, um, I have. An expert on the topic joining us, Manu Bal Kushiori, in a new program. Devi Swagat Kar Deve. Please join me in welcoming Harpreet Singh Tour. Uh, Tour Ji, welcome to the program. Satsrikal. Satsrikal, Namaskar, Adab, and Shalom. And uh, uh, I think it is Yom Kapoor today. Happy it is Yom Kapoor new today. Year yes. To yeah. 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 We should not forget that because we not. Uh, this is New York City. Forget it. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Oh, but thanks for having me and. Of it's a uh, player to share the information with the public. Because mm -hmm. we are very successful individually. We are very successful. Business-wise, we are very successful. Punjabis, okay? Paise uh, we are very successful. Photo akichon, we are very successful. But to have somebody in Congress or in state assemblies or state senates, khas karke somebody who looks like me, we have not succeeded yet. New Jersey is unique. We had Attorney General Gurbir Garewal. Yes. And we also have uh, Ravi Palai as a mayor, Obukanda. Yes. And, uh, you know, Gurbir Garewal ended up being uh, with the Justice Department as a commissioner of SEC. He got promoted for that, yes. which is really good. Yes. So he's not an AG anymore for New Jersey. Gee. He's uh, going further up. Or may I that down the road uh, he will get appointed as Attorney General of the United States. 
God willing, Tade Mooch, Ghi Shakar. But, Bhartuji, you know, in the world, Sade ambitions, Sade goals, Ekik Niki Niki, it to Shuru Hunde. And, um, Agarasi is political process, the Gal Karia. The first brick, the first step, um, is Sadi representation, who is Jithi Sadi Abadi Jadai, Jithi Sadi voting power, Ban Sagadi. Also, voting power, no Todea Najai, Vandea Najai, um, in political. Boundaries, the is redistricting the Nal, right? So in New York, this is extremely important. Um, so, is the cheese by to see recently Sanu Pelevi joined Kitesi census devad a redistricting the process shuru ho rea. Um, there's another big development, uh, in New York, the redistricting the Galani. So, what is the latest update? Um, it is the redistricting process, new lake. Well, I suppose that the Koshik Chija did not have to discuss Karniana within the next 10 12 minutes. Koshiko the Vichana Karaton Vihoni. So, match on the Pijedis had a viewers Hagayana Jedis Rotea. Oh, is Tinuna de Kanapei me Jedigal Karia Pei O Korea, we de Kanapei is Galdevich fact Kia or JSC succeed Huna is Mulk the Bitch. ਤਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਫੈਕਟਸ ਨੂੰ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਆ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇੰਡੀਪੈਂਡੈਂਟ ਰੀਡਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟਿੰਗ ਕਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਨਿਊਯਾਰਕ ਦਾ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ 2014 ਚ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟ ਹੋਇਆ ਸੀ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇੰਡੀਪੈਂਡੈਂਟ ਰੀਡਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟਿੰਗ ਕਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਆ ਉਹਨੇ ਕੱਲ ਦੁਪਹਿਰ ਮੇਰੇ ਖਿਆਲ ਐਟ 1:30 ਰਿਲੀਜ਼ ਇਟਸ ਫਰਸਟ ਮੈਪ ਅੱਛਾ ਜੀ ਫਾਰ ਅਸੈਂਬਲੀ ਐਂਡ ਸੈਨੇਟ ਐਂਡ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ at the same time, Republicans also released their map. The big difference between um, Independent Redistricting Commission, I will call it IRC to make the life easy. IRC ne jada uh, map release kita hai na, ude vich sadde vaste South Asians lay. Uh, we do have a road map to get into assembly. Many of the ultimately the final version of the implement which is going to be April of 2022. This is the uh, sort of like a foundation. If I may say, you get the Vichina, either the hearings on the uh, Lokane Apne Apne. First, they asked. Independently, if you submit a lot of things, how you want the distance. IRC is not a And they had the hearings uh, via Zoom and uh, via uh, Skype, I don't know, but definitely via Zoom. And all the meetings, they are the base, they are on the discussion, they are the census, they are on the district create. But एक चीज हम understand करनी चाहिए कि even census दे बच्चे जदों वो data पे कर देगा ना जेड़ा other आला data होना ना वो data या जेड़ा that is not included in here. Turji, how does this affect जो खास करके Sikh grouping है because you know normally ये चीज़ नो ऐसी एक बहुत बड़ी accomplishment एक जित मन के समझ के मानने हैं कि census दे वेच तो उसी Sikh लिख सकते हो and काफी आने इस वारी लिखिया भी हैगा गर्व ना लिखिया है but जिथे redistricting दी गाला नहीं which is ultimately what the census is most important task is कि population किथे किन्नी करें दिए ओ दे हिसाब ना उन्होंने represent कितना जाए government दे वेच that is the main point of the census um, Jado is a Sikh category, no, I see right in Karde, a tick mark Karde. How does that affect the census grouping? Actually, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's a big achievement for community, no doubt about it. Apanu in delude the Karnaja, the person who actually who understand Karnaja idea. The bigger powers, oh, minorities, no divide Karnaja on the air. Tika. Hona JSC Layap as in South Asian, which is a huge number. Let's look at that. Numerically, South Asians in New York City is a whole big chunk. Hone and divide Karna Shuru Kardio, other category the Vichonane, Rakhadatai, Bengali, Pakistani, Tamilian, Gujarati, Maharashtrian, Sikh. Bihari, right? Oh, hoya ki haga ya. Pyo jadi badi ball ya na. Oh, chhod chhodiyan par gaye. Hmm. Acha, jado 
ਕਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਕਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਆ ਚਾਹੇ ਉਹ ਆਰਸੀ ਆ ਚਾਹੇ ਸਟੇਟ ਅਸੈਂਬਲੀ ਆ ਚਾਹੇ ਸਟੇਟ ਸੈਨੇਟ ਆ ਇਹ ਚ ਕੋਈ ਸ਼ੱਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹ ਸੈਂਸਸ ਦਾ ਡਾਟਾ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਆ ਪਰ ਸੈਂਸਸ ਦੇ ਡਾਟੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਦ ਉਹ ਅਦਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਨਾ ਅਦਰ ਆ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਡਿਸਾਈਡ ਕਰਨ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੈਜੋਰਟੀ ਆ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਹ ਬੰਗਾਲੀ ਡਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟ ਆ ਜਾਂ ਮੈਜੋਰਟੀ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨੀ ਆ ਜਾਂ ਮੈਜੋਰਟੀ ਸਿੱਖ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਬ ਕੈਟਾਗਰੀਜ਼ ਆ ਉਹ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਜੀ ਜੀ ਜਿਉਂ ਜਿਉਂ ਅੱਗੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਉਹ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਲੁੱਕ ਫਰਦਰ ਇਨਟੂ ਇਟ ਐਂਡ ਆਮ ਪ੍ਰੈਟੀ ਸ਼ੋਰ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੁਝ ਇੱਕ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨਾਨ ਪ੍ਰੋਫਿਟ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਡੈਫੀਨਿਟਲੀ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਵਰਕ ਔਨ ਥੈਟ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਨੰਬਰ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਦੇ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਬੀ ਟੇਕਨ ਇਨਟੂ ਕਨਸੀਡਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਪਰ ਯੈਸ ਮੈਂ ਇਫ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਸੁਜੈਸਟ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਕਹੂੰਗਾ ਕਿ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਸਾਊਥ ਏਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਡਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟ ਬਣਾ ਲਓ ਜਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਦਾੜੀ ਕੇਸ ਪੱਗ ਨਾਲ ਖੜੇ ਆ ਨਾ ਐਵਰੀਬਾਡੀ ਲੁਕਸ ਐਟ ਯੂ ਲੱਖਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੁਦੇ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਹੋ so you get that attention then you can create what you want so it should be progressive but anyway you know that's my opinion uh, there are people jehde agge mere naal disagree kite and uh, there are going to be people who will still disagree with me जी. but uh, i think uh, that would have been a better approach ji um turji i'm i'm so glad ki tusi sanu because you know a jo redistricting the um jo actual process hega it's a very complicated complex one um but innu tusi simplify sade layi kar rahe ho uh, pehle vi kita si aaj vi kar rahe ho we really appreciate that um and in a jo census da kis tarah da ਮੇਲ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਰੀਡਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਿੱਖ ਪਹਿਚਾਨ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਲੈਵਰੇਜ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਰਾਈਟ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਗੋਲਸ ਇੱਥੇ ਮਲਟੀਪਲ ਹੈਗੇ ਇੱਕ ਤਾਂ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਆਪਣੀ ਪਹਿਚਾਨ ਦੀ ਅਵੇਅਰਨੈਸ ਰੇਸ ਕਰਨੀ ਬਟ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਪਹਿਚਾਨ ਦੀ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਵੇਅਰਨੈਸ ਹੋਗੀ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਸਾਡੀ ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਸਾਡੀ ਪਾਵਰ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਟਸ ਵਾਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਸੋ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫॉर दैट ਅਮ ਤੂਰ ਜੀ ਯੂ نو ਐਨੀ ਐਨੀ ਕਲੋਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਵਰਡਸ ਐਨੀ ਲਾਸਟ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਜੋ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਇਜ਼ देयर ਐਨੀ ਵੇ ਥੈਟ ਫੋਕਸ ਕੈਨ ਗੈਟ ਇਨਵੋਲਵਡ ਇਨ ਦਿਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸ ਆਈ نو ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸੈਡ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਹੀਰਿੰਗਸ ਹੋ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਜ਼ੂਮ ਰਾਹੀ ਹੋਣੀ ਹੈ ਅਮ ਇਫ ਫੋਕਸ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਪਾਰਟਿਸਿਪੇਟ ਰਾਈਟ ਅਮ ਕੀ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਅ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਮੈਂ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਇਹ ਕਹਾਂਗਾ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਰੋਤੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਦੇ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਇਨਵੋਲਵਡ ਬਾਈ ਕਾਲਿੰਗ देयर ਕੰਗਰੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਪਰਸਨਸ देयर ਅਸੈਂਬਲੀਮੈਨ ਐਂਡ देयर ਸਟੇਟ ਸੈਨੇਟਰਸ ਅੱਛਾ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਭਾਈ ਰੀਡਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟਿੰਗ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਵਾਂਟ ਅਸ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟਡ ਐਟ ਲੀਸਟ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਵੀ ਕਾਲ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਆ ਨਾ ਇਟ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਸ ਅ ਰੈਕਰਡ ਫਾਰ देम ਔਰ ਦ ਮੋਰ ਕਾਲਸ ਵੀ ਮੇਕ ਦ ਬੈਟਰ ਇਟ ਇਸ ਕਿਉਂ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਦੈਨ ਦੇ ਫੀਲ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਰਡ ਕਿ ਭਾਈ ਇਹ ਬੰਦੇ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨਾ ਵੀ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਐਕਟਿਵ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਪੋਲਿਟਿਕਲੀ ਐਕਟਿਵ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਆਊਟ ਐਂਡ ਵੋਟ ਸੋ ਲੈਟ ਮੀ ਲਿਸਨ ਟੂ देम ਆਈ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਸੇ ਟੂ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਵਨ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਲੈਕਟਡ ਬੰਦਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਨਾ ਆਫਟਰ ਹੀ ਗੈਟਸ ਇਲੈਕਟਡ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਕੋਟਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਫਰਮ ਐਨ ਇਲੈਕਟਡ ਪਰਸਨ who has been very active in new york politics uh, new york city and new york state o kanda kanda the first priority for an elected person is to get reelected of course right kursi kursi bachana of course yeah yeah the other thing which i will say either you are at the table or you are on the menu yes that's and your slogan turji that's your slogan jadon uh, toadi jadon toadi picture bus te lai si na itthe new york city de busan te toadi picture lagi hui si ode thalle likhna chahida si unna nu so it's always so good to have you uh, harpreet singh you know, turji uh, thanks for having me and i think we should continue this conversation as
प्रोग्राम की समाप्ति करते हैं सो वी डिस्कस अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स टूडे बहुत ज्यादा चीजें तो अच्छ डिस्कस की अफकोर्स अगर थोड़े तो कोई क्वेश्चन कॉमेंट्स कंसर्न साढ़े लिए साढ़े गैसट्स लिए स्टेट रिप्रजेंटेटिव फ्रॉम मिशिगन रंजीव पुरी और कम्यूनिटी ऑर्गेनाइजर राइट हेयर फ्रॉम न्यू यॉर्क सिटी हरप्रीत सिंह तूर ले है तो जरूर सू लिख सकते हो इन फॉर जस्ट ब्रॉडकास्टिंग डॉट कॉम आशमिता एट जस्ट ब्रॉडकास्टिंग डॉट कॉम हूँ मैनू दे इजाजत सत श्रीकाल